Hello and welcome to Networker Zoom. My name is Dakshini and uh, today we'll be talking about uh, one of the most basic fundamentals of networking, the data transmission method with respect to IP version 4. All right. So about data transmission method, which is also called as packet forwarding techniques. Okay. Casting. What do you understand by the word casting? Casting basically means emitting out, giving out something. Okay, so when it comes to networking, we have different types of casting with regards to IP version 4. Okay, so we have unicast, we have broadcast, and we have multicast. Unique broadcast is further divided into limited broadcast and direct broadcast. So let's, let us understand each of these terms in detail. All right, starting with unicast. Unicast, as the name suggests, uni. Okay, so let me give you an example here. Okay, suppose you have arranged for a party and uh, you are, you want to invite your friends. All right, so what you'll do, you'll uh, type in a customized message and you make sure that each customized personalized message is sent to each of your friends. Okay, so you are sending one-to-one -one communication so that, the, so that you can make sure that the message is delivered to each of your friends. Okay, so what you have done here basically, you have done, you have sent individual messages, okay, just to make sure that the recipient has received that message. So what are you doing here? Basically, you are sending one-to-one -one communication. So unicast is one-to-one -one communication between a single sender and a single recipient, wherein your sender is also one, and there is a particular recipient which is the which the message is meant for. Okay. So consider this topology. Here, we are using network, say, 172.16.4.0. So this device has 4.1, 4.2, 4.3, and you have 4.253, okay? So this device wants to communicate directly with this printer, okay? So this device is sending a direct message to this printer. This method is called as unicast, okay? One-to-one -one communication. Now let's talk about broadcast okay same scenario you have arranged for a party and now instead of sending it to an individual person what you are doing is say you are entering a classroom or you are entering your college premises or say you have entered a cafeteria so in the, you enter a cafeteria and you announce it you shout it out to all that i have arranged for a party and everyone is invited all right so this message is not meant for all okay so basically what you are doing is you're broadcasting the message. So the recipient, those who have heard your message can join the party and those people who are not interested can just simply ignore it, correct? So that is what is broadcasting. One to all communication to all devices within a same network or a specific network segment, okay? So what does this statement will, will discuss? So when one-to-one -one communication, so let us consider the same topology, okay? So in this scenario, this device is broadcasting. So when it is broadcasting, so the message will be sent to all the devices that is a part of this network, 172.16.4.0 network, okay? So as we discussed, broadcasting is divided into limited broadcast and then you have direct broadcast, okay? Limited broadcast, now suppose the network in this topology is 172.16.4.0, CIDR24. This is the network address, okay? So when you we are sending a broadcast for this network, for a limited network within the same broadcast domain, okay? So the broadcast address, you can simply type 255.255.255.255, okay? So this is broadcasting. This is called as limited broadcast. Limited, it is because it is limited to this particular network, okay? Now let, let's discuss what is direct broadcast. So let's say, this router here is connected to another switch. Okay, and this switch is further 
connected to some multiple end devices. Okay? All right? Now this, as you must be aware, router, it has per port broadcast domain. All right? So let us assume the network in this segment, it is, so I'll write it down here. So in that segment, let us assume the network is 192.168.10.0 CIDR24. All right? Now, consider this device wants to send a broadcast to this network. Okay? Not this network, not 172 network. Now the broadcast needs to be sent to this network. So it's a it is called as direct broadcast. Why? So here, how can broadcast now? As you can uh, as you can understand, so this is CIDR twenty four class C broadcast. So in this case, this becomes your network address, isn't it? So here, what will be the broadcast address? So you have one ninety two, one sixty eight, ten dot two five five. Correct? So this becomes your direct broadcast. So in broadcasting, it is not necessary that the message is meant for everyone. Not everyone might be interested. Not ev it is not necessary that these devices are meant to receive those messages. They can accept the message. They can even ignore if it is not meant for them. So broadcast is nothing. One to all communication. Hope it, this part is clear. Now, what is multicast? Next, let's discuss about multicast. So getting back to the same scenario, you have arranged for a party and now here, you do not wish to invite everyone to your party. In this scenario, you just in, uh, want to invite your close friends, correct? So you would not require unnecessary guests in your party. So what you will do in this scenario, you will create a group of close friend, isn't it? And then you will send a message to that particular group. So that is your multicasting, okay? So multicasting, one to many, but not to everyone, correct? So between a single sender and multiple recipients who are interested, okay? So your close friends, so they might be interested in coming to your party so you are creating a group for people who are interested so but in broadcast so what is the difference then broadcast everyone not might not be interested but in multicast you're creating a particular group who are interested to receive that message so that does multicast now in the same scenario same topology this device is sending a message to this particular device only okay so the sender the receiver is fixed so this message will not be broadcasted to all. It will be multicasted to a specific devices. Okay, so that is multicast. So let us have a quick comparison between these three, unicast, multicast, and broadcast with regards to the aspects, all right? So recipient scope. In unicast, there is only one specific recipient, one-to-one -one communication. Multicast, a specific group, okay? Those who are interested in receiving that. Broadcast, all the devices within a network. Transmission method, there is a separate transmission for each recipient. So you're sending the message one-on-one, -on -one, individually, different messages, multiple messages, correct? Multicast, single message replicated by the network devices. So if there is a one single message sent to a particular group. Broadcast, again, it's a single transmission to all devices. Network impact, it's moderate. Now, let us consider network impact. Suppose you're sending a broadcast for CIDR24, correct? So that means you're broadcasting it to 254 devices. So isn't that unnecessary consumption of bandwidth, correct? So the network impact and broadcast will be very high because you're sending unnecessary packet, which is not meant for all. So when it comes to unicast and multicast, network imp impact is moderate. Efficiency, you are sending same message to multiple user. Is it really efficient? Rather, what, what would be the better option here? To create a group, correct? To create a group and send one message to all. So efficiency, 
Multicasting is more efficient for multiple recipient. Unicast is less efficient and broadcasting can be less efficient due to unnecessary traffic. Okay, so some people might be interested, some people might not be interested. So multicast is more efficient. Scalability. Scales linearly with number of recipients. Correct? Scales better for a large group of recipient. Doesn't scale well can create network congestion. So if you're broadcasting, it is creating a network congestion. So scalability for multicasting and unicast, it is quite okay. Mechanism, addressing mechanism. So unicast, as it is one-to-one -one communication, it require unique recipients address, isn't it? Multicast, there is one particular address that is required and which you are forming a group. So there is a multicast group that you have created. So user of a group address for a multiple recipient of devices. Broadcast, again, uses a broadcast address for all devices. Then you have, let's discuss some of the example for unicast when you're sending an email to a specific purpose. Okay, one-to-one -one communication, it is unicast. Multicast, streaming live video to a group of subscribers. So suppose you have taken a subscribing a subscription of uh, Tata Sky, okay? So it will not broadcast it to everyone, correct? So there are certain features where that will only be accessible to you when you subscribe to it, correct? So what are they doing? They are uh, broadcasting, they are sending that live streaming to a specific group of people who have subscribed to that channel. So that is multicast, okay? Broadcasting, sending a network-wide announcement. So when there is a live broadcast of a match, correct? So that is nothing but an example of broadcast. So if you have understood uh, this topic well, let's gauge yourself by answering the questions that I have uh, compiled here. So before I answer it, let's see if you are able to answer these questions, all right? So you can pause the video in between if you want to answer it yourself, all right? So question one, what is unicast in computer network? So you can take a time before I answer it. You can pause the video and see if you have answered it correctly. So the options are sending messages to a group of device, sending individual messages to a specific device, sending messages to all device on a network, or sending messages to a device with a similar address. So the right answer would be B sending individual messages to a specific device. Correct? Hope you got the right answer. Question two, which analogy best describes unicast? Okay, analogy, you consider it as an example. So, shouting an announcement in a crowded room, sending individual letters to different friends, sending a message to a group chat or sharing a message on social media, okay? So what do you think, which of this example describes unicast? Answer is B, sending individual letters to different friends. You are sending different individual letters to each and every friend, one-to-one -one communication, isn't it? Question three, sending message to a specific group of device, Sending message to all device on a network. Sending messages to device with a similar address. Sending messages privately to one device. Okay, let's think about it. What will be the answer for question three? So is it a specific group or to all devices on a network? So your answer is B again, correct? Next question. What is multicast in computer network? Sending messages to a single device, sending messages to a few specific devices, or sending messages to a large group of devices, sending messages individually to multiple devices. Now this is tricky, isn't it? Whether it is B or whether it is C. Few specific device or a large group of device. So the correct answer is C, sending messages to a large group of device, all right? The last question, which method would be suitable for sending a security alert? 
to all employees in a company okay so there is a maybe a security alarm that needs to be sent all employees needs to be alerted of that so what will be the better option will you send individual message will you send it to all will you send it to a group of people or nothing so the answer is b again it is broadcast so you will be sending this message to everyone all right so hope you have answered all the questions correctly and hope you have learned something from this thank you so much for